Hey guys, welcome back to Crafty Wife's channel. On today's video, I'm sharing my recipe of baked salmon and shrimp sliders. If you are new to my channel and you like my content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I upload a new video. Let's get started. These are the ingredients you'll need. I went to my nearest Aldi store and purchased everything that I will be using for today's recipe. And this is my man's favorite dish. So I thought, why not and share the recipe with you all while I have time. Okay, these are the ingredients you'll need. You'll need a bag of spinach, one can of wild Alaska pink salmon or any other type of brand of pink salmon that you like. You'll need sour cream. I'm, I'm using light sour cream. You'll need some garlic. For my cheese, I'm using mozzarella cheese, but if you like any other type of cheese, you can also substitute this cheese for something else. Usually I buy my shrimp raw from the supermarket, but I didn't have time to go to my local seafood mart. So I just purchased these medium cooked shrimp that come in a bag. I believe they were like $5.60 each. And you'll need some brioche buns to make our sliders with. I would recommend for today's serving to buy two packs of brioche buns. Each one of these are 150 calories. For today's recipe, I'll be using Creole seasoning to season my food garlic powder and garlic powder is way different than garlic salt it's less saltier and some salt if you don't have any of these seasonings you can just use whatever you have in your pantry i recommend a seafood seasoning now let's get our can of pink salmon open i've already drained out the liquid now i'm adding it into a large bowl and now it's time to open our shrimp i'll be taking the tails off each shrimp Okay, so now once we have taken off the tails of all our shrimp, this is what I'm going to do is roughly chop over the top of my shrimp. So I basically want my shrimp chopped into the smallest pieces that I can get them to. So now I'm going to add in my chopped shrimp right into my salmon. I'm going to be mixing the salmon and the shrimp together. Making sure that everything gets combined. Okay, now I'm going to chop up my garlic. Now I'm going to chop a half head of a garlic and it would have been much easier if I could find my garlic mincer, but I couldn't find it. So I just chopped it into the smallest pieces I could get it to and put it into my bowl with the shrimp and the salmon. Now it's time to add in the seasoning. I'm going to add in Creole seasoning. Now I'm not measuring the seasoning that, that goes into the bowl, but I'm going to eyeball the seasoning. So this is the pink salt that's going in. Just a few sprinkles of some ancient fine sea salt. And then I'm going in with my garlic, with my garlic powder. And now we're going to get all this mixed in, making sure that it does have seasoning and it's going to taste good and it won't be bland. Okay. Now let's move on to the next step. Next step is to start cooking up spinach. I'll be cooking my spinach due to the water that is retained in spinach when it cooks. Now we're going to add in some sour cream and I have the light sour cream. One dollop of sour cream so I got left with this much I got left with this much remember you can always eyeball your food and the portions that you're putting so now I'm just going to mix it all in together the sour cream will bind everything together and make it creamy Now I'm going to add in my mozzarella cheese once I've combined my sour cream with my shrimp and the pink salmon. And I added only one handful of cheese because we will be putting more cheese later on when our sliders are baking. 
and make sure you have your oven on at 350 degrees on bake so it can be preheating meanwhile you are prepping it's crazy how spinach always reduces in size this was like one bag of spinach once your spinach is cooked just add it into the bowl and now we're going to prep our sliders so i'm just putting right now the bottoms of the buns and i do recommend using brioche buns for this recipe because they hold up really nice when they are baking and they don't get soggy you can actually leave these out for like four hours and they will not get soggy so now i'm just going to top it off with some seasoning and then put it in the oven for at least 20 to 25 minutes until the shrimp cooks after about 20 minutes i'm going to add some mozzarella cheese over the top of my sliders and i'm going to put it on broil and once the cheese melts with the broil method you're going to add the buns to the top of your sliders and you're going to broil that again for about three minutes making sure that you do not walk away from your kitchen because they will burn really fast with the broil and there you have it you guys these are ready these sliders are my man's favorite and he can literally eat these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you like seafood, then I'm sure you'll like these sliders too. You can make these for any special occasion. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to be notified every time I upload new videos. Make sure to like the video and share it with your friends. Bye guys!